Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona Christie, and today I'm just going to do a quick little reading. Um, for the month of November, we've got so much exciting stuff happening in November, uh, kicking off with like All Saints Day on the 1st, um, <laughs> moving into the, or uh, moving into the, um, the presidential election, <laughs> which is going to be interesting. And then the November 11th cardinal, the week after that, and of course, Thanksgiving going um, forward in the last week of November. Uh, just a lot, a lot of activity. Uh, Bale's really thin right now, <laughs> if it even exists at all, right? So uh, join me. I'm just going to be pulling a few cards and we'll see what comes up for the month of November. And okay, so I'm using three decks here. It's going to be my spirit animal awareness card deck, um, oracle cards. And this deck is the uh, Doors of Love and Light deck from uh, Rita Morgan. And then it's a brand new deck that I just got that I'm actually doing a deck review on. So watch for that. I've got it, um, just got to edit that video. Um, but this is the Ascension Angels deck um, from Melanie Beckler. And it's a beautiful deck. I haven't used it a lot. So I'm really going to be excited to see what comes up there. So I'm just going to take this week by week for November 2020 and uh, starting with week one, I'm looking at my calendar here, <laughs> um, week one, which uh, starting on the first, which is a Sunday, and we'll see kind of, first of all, I'm going to draw an animal card for this first week and it is tiger coming up in reverse. Okay, so tiger, um, there's a lot of kind of like the the anger okay because there's a lot of like sacral chakra that I get with, with tiger um so like any kind of like repressed creativity just wanting to roar right um coming out there and um sometimes isolation can be a part of the the you know the tiger energy as well um it, it, anger remember that kind of anger can really switch to passion it can switch back and forth um Tiger, in terms of what I could just like remember that I, I guess what's coming up for me is that we can we know this right you know with everything that's happening uh, we can probably expect to see outbursts of energy right and just keeping in mind that it's sometimes that release is necessary to think like of a steam kettle or something in in order to just kind of blow off the steam and so just you know shelter shelter in place basically <laughs> right if you need to um but also remember that tiger's got a lot of creative energy in it right so if you're feeling like you know, you, you, there's all this energy coming at you, a really good way to work with it is rather than like sitting in fear or, or, um, you know, kind of getting caught up in the anger is to channel it into your, your, your creative, you know, use your creative gifts to, to channel that, whether it's anger or any other emotion, um, any other intense energy that might, might be coming up. And it doesn't always have to be negative, right? So sometimes intense energy it could be a positive energy, but it can be so intense that it really becomes difficult to, to, to deal with, right? So using your creative gifts and whether it's creative arts or, um, you know, anything else that you can think of to creatively move that energy into a positive direction, right? We can do this through meditation or prayer too. It's, it's you know, could be pretty, pretty much all that kind of same energy of being able to use your imagination um, to creatively channel whatever intense energy is coming up, right, um, to positive, positive directions. And I'm going to pull an angel card for this week, too. And I think what I'm going to do is culminate with the door of love and light for the entire month of November. The angel card coming up is to open your psychic senses. Okay, so this coming week is um, really it, often okay. We've got the the right the the um, 
the Halloween, All Souls Day, All Saints Day holiday moving, you know, just kicking off the whole month and which is when those psychic, you know, the psychic abilities are going to be at their strongest. Um, you know, the, the, the world between the, um, the etheric world and the physical world is, is going to be very accessible. Okay, so, um, and I love that she's wearing this at her heart, right, to staying in that heart center. And can really help us to distinguish. And, and I also want to kind of mention is that open your psychic senses, there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of people out there with agendas, okay? A lot of people out there with agendas in one way or the other way. And there's going to be a lot of things, um, you know, information can get twisted, words can be taken out of people's mouths and, and, and taken out of context and so forth. And so it's going to be really, really important to, you know, realize if, you know, that we can use our intuition to really feel into the truth of things, right? Um, and also be aware of if there's, you know, being aware of like kind of knee-jerk reactions of, um, you know, maybe a certain person triggers that in you or in others and that sometimes those like kind of knee-jerk negative emotion things um that's an indication of manipulation right psychic or or um or, or mental manipulation that may have been happening or you know to to trigger trigger negative emotions so wherever you feel negative emotions that's sort of a cue to breathe bring yourself to center and you can tune into your 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 real intuition because sometimes it your your real intuition will tell you something that you know maybe it's completely polar opposite of what you've been thinking or somebody else has been thinking about a certain situation a person event whatever okay um and so for i'm going to post a couple cards for now the second week in november 2020 and this is the week of the eighth and this is the week of the 1111 gateway portal if you haven't seen my video yet on that event um check that one out as well okay mouse is an animal that's been coming forward a couple of times lately uh, that i've sort of been seeing in the in the um <laughs> kind of around the edges right so well, that's coming forward for me about mouse. Um, it's courage. It's really courage, right? Because um, we think of a mice as timid or fearful, but really, in order to, uh, what's really coming forward is, is courage. And we can be small, right? None of us has like at this point there is so much humongous you know currents of energy happening and big systems coming apart and all sorts of stuff right that it's it, if, if you let yourself you can feel like it's so easy that it can be swept away by all the stuff but think what a mouse can do it's like even this little creature that has everything against it right I mean, it can be basically literally blown away by the wind. It can be swept away by the waves. It can be whatever, but it finds its way, right? And it finds its way by just kind of feeling its way in the dark. And um, it will leave scent trails and things, but it's a it's a very kind of like intuitive. It feels its way around. And it's, um, is, it, it, it finds sustenance in, in, you know, just bit by bit it, it takes what it needs and it finds sustenance even in, in little places that you wouldn't find okay it's able to kind of feel its way into the little crevices and so forth and pull out what it needs right so it's just sort of an indication of um you know just have the courage to understand that um it's like a mouse just is able to find what it needs and is able to really make itself um you know find its way despite all these incredible powerful things around it it may be small but a, a mouse it has this ability to survive without having that kind of having to resort to big teeth or claws or anything like that right um so just this humility of you know, it's in God's hands now. It's really in God's hands. Um, so both courage and humility is coming forward for mouse. Um, 
because honestly, people, um, the message I keep getting over and over and over again is light not only will prevail, but is prevailing. It's already done. It's already done. We're just seeing kind of the playing out of the energies that have already been put into place. And so don't be surprised if you see, you know, there may be as many twists and turns to the plot as a Harry Potter novel, um, but we're gonna see some amazing miracles happening, okay? Um, card here is vib high vibrational living for the week of the 11th. Uh, so again, stay in your heart and, and really focus on, um, again, be really, really aware of, negative emotions that's going to be your cue as a light worker to okay that's what we're here to do is to really transmute these energies right to ground the light into the world and part of that is being aware of you know if there's fear energies coming to us that's a cue to start really, like really focusing on the light right sending light out and whoever wins this election really big suggestion is to send them light okay send light to whoever wins and to whoever loses right and to trust in source and spirit that everything's going to be taken care of no matter who wins or what happens that just as long as we keep sending light and focusing on that light within ourselves right it's it really does it's going to make help to make a difference on the planet itself right because that's what we're moving towards and things can happen in very strange ways, but it'll happen for the good of all. Um, all right, so let's do week number three. I don't see anything on the calendar right now for the third week of November is something, is, is anything that's like hugely huge. Um, that there won't be big events happening. So let's see what just comes up in the cards. Uh, the, animal card coming forward is this one it's hummingbird okay and let's think of this as a joy card but it's also a hummingbird's a really fierce animal okay we think of it as this lovely little light and whatever but it has a fierceness to it okay so the message from hummingbird is to be fierce about your joy right you have a birthright to be joyful joy is this vibration that we're bringing in right the joy the bliss the 5d energy that's what we're bringing in and so a hummingbird is very territorial okay it will defend its territory it will kind of dive at, at you know whatever else is coming in the way right in, into its own territory so this is like you know maintain your personal boundaries and don't be you know, letting things into your field that are going to interfere with your joy, right? <laughs> you know, think of like, you have a birthright to bliss. And so, yeah, there'll be things happening around that are not um, conducive to that, but defend your right to be happy, right? You don't have to be falling into line with anybody else's idea of, you know, um, there's all sorts of beliefs out there that, okay, we, we, we've got to work hard and be miserable in order to make money, that kind of thing. Or, you know, everybody else is miserable. Why, why aren't you? <laughs> or, you know, um, whatever you can think of, and I'm sure you can think of this a ton. Um, defend your rights, you know, keep your boundaries. And within those boundaries, you know, you can build as much happiness as you want so and by the way um this is i guess not the third week this will be the second week but i do have an event coming up that is um a visionary art event and what's really holding space for the 1111 gateway and i'd like to invite you all it is by donation uh, so i'll put the link to that below and i'd love to have you join me and finally for the fourth week in november this is turtle um this also kind of coming up as a challenger and this is like okay so beware of isolation right because we're all isolated in a certain way right but it's really really and and it's to a certain extent it's important to have that shell and to you know make sure that we have our boundaries and you know so if you're not doing personal 
kind of um, psychic protection work really suggest doing that. However, the shadow side of that is just being kind of really isolated and, and drawn in. Um, it can get you to be really defensive or withdrawing. Okay, so if you're noticing tendencies in yourself to feel withdrawn, depressed, or defensive, right, um, just feel into that because we've got, even if, first of all, connections and some of this may be coming up around because it'll be the holiday a lot of us won't be seeing the loved ones that we really miss right there may be a tendency to depression so reach out make those connections call the family right even if you can't be together do what you can and if the real family like if your blood family just if you can't go there right now um if there's <laughs> maybe certain things that are coming up that are really wonky dynamics find your soul family your soul, soul tribe reach out right we're here for each other okay um so super super important if you're feeling like really depressed and withdrawn reach out there's always help there your your spirit family right your spirit um guides they're always there you can ask them and you know it, it, even if you feel silly just just say hey reach out say hey look i'm feeling lonely i'm feeling this i'm feeling that or i've got these physical issues ask them you know please help me with this please and they do it's 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 a very, very effective. Um, so, so do that, reach out to your soul tribe. Um, you know, anytime, if you want to comment on one of my videos or whatever, I, I do my best to, to kind of within a couple of days, I'll, I'll try and reply if it's something that's really from the heart. Um, reach out to me on my website. And uh, cause like we all are here for each other, a slight light tribe. And then let's pull another Ascension Angel card. And like I said, Watch my video. I'm going to do a review of this deck because I'm going to love this deck. Okay, relax and allow light in. Okay, so last, last week of uh, Thanksgiving might be a time that's really good to just be quiet, come to stillness, allow the light to just come in. And sometimes it's like when things are really intense, um, you know, whether it's like the grounding work that we do or the the boundary work that we do or whatever, it can be really kind of feel like intense. And for those things, you know, those little spiritual things that we put into place to really work for us, we need to kind of breathe and relax. Like if you've got roots down to the earth, but they're so tight <laughs> that you're not letting the nourishment in, it's it's still not going to do you a whole lot. You can be super grounded, but then not allowing the light to come in like it needs to. Okay, so you can work with him with the spirit team, um, ask them to loosen your roots a little bit so that you still have that groundedness, but you know, letting the, the, the earth light in. Um, same thing with psychic protection. You know, we can get, get our boundaries up so much that the light doesn't come through. So maybe ask your spirit team to maybe keep them strong, but make it transparent so the light can come in, right? And then just coming to stillness is so healing. Sometimes we just need to just stop before, you know, for a while. If you think of a seed, it, it it's really still before, and it has to be still, right? And in the dark sometimes before it starts to quicken inside. Um, all right, so finally, I'm going to, for the, the month of November, all together, just open a door of love and light for the entire month of November, and it is this one, okay? This is number two, and I've seen this beautiful star, and to me, it reminds me of, first of all, kind of like the Star of Bethlehem idea, or this the central sun um you know, we're being watched over, right? There's this beautiful life that's available to all of us at every time I think of the central sun, when I see this, the source light from above, right? So we can always anchor into that light. It's always available to us at all times and think of the promise, the rainbow behind it, right? Um, there are these changes, <laughs> everything that's gonna be happening this month, <laughs> maybe a super intense month, but it's all for the best. And so as long as we keep you know, focused on that, that there's beautiful things coming, right? And focus on the light. Um, and also this is a four pointed star. So that's, four is this number of stability, right? So behind all the chaos, there is divine order. 
remember that. All right. So hope that you've enjoyed this reading for November 2020. Uh, we'd love to hear your insights, your comments below, and uh, feel free to share if you feel like somebody else could benefit from this reading. Um, I will catch you again soon.